you've been looking to get into YouTube videos or even live streaming, maybe you've been working from home or you know attending Zoom classes online, you wanted to step your audio game up, I've got a really nice solution here to discuss with you today. We're going to be reviewing the Pseudotac uh, ST900. Uh, it's actually a kit, right? It comes with a boom arm you see, this uh, mount here, that pop filter, secondary pop filter. Uh, it's really a whole kit. It's incredibly affordable and a competitive option. Um, you see I've got a blue Yeti right here. If you stay till the end of the video, we're actually going to be doing a direct comparison. Boom, on both of them. No filter supply, period. Uh, we're going to check these things out to see how good this microphone is. Uh, at what, less than 80 bucks for this whole kit. It's definitely competitive as far as pricing goes, but can it deliver to something like a Blue Yeti? Uh, stay tuned and we're going to find out. Today, Pseudotac sent me out this microphone for you guys uh, to see what's going on. Now, right off the bat, we do have a couple of things to just discuss at a high level. I'm not going to go into it with you guys as far as deep as like vo uh, noise frequency, stuff like that, because I personally don't know that that well, so I'm not going to you know, try and explain that to you guys. Um, we're going to look at this at a very high level. Um, now, like I said, the first thing that's great, you know, it comes with two different pop filters, it comes with a boom arm, and it comes with a mount uh, for the microphone to sit in as well. Now, this is all less than $80. Now, the direct competitors to this, like the Blue Yeti, right, $130 alone, no mount. Well, it does have a mount to sit on, obviously, so does the Hyper -S Quad HyperX Quadcast, right, $140 for these mics. You get no boom arm, you get no noise cancellation, right? You get no mount. Um, none of that's going to come with it, right? And the voice quality you're going to get out of this microphone, as you can see right now, is incredibly comparable to what you're getting out of these more expensive microphones. Now, that's not to say there aren't my issues with this microphone, uh, but there's definitely some pros, and especially for the whole package that you're getting. Now, does this microphone, uh, you know, stand up to an XLR microphone in any capacity? I'm going to shut that down right away. Absolutely not. But if you're somebody who's just trying to, you know, you're coming from a laptop microphone, um, you're coming from a webcam microphone, maybe a microphone on your headset or something like that, this is absolutely for you, right? This is absolutely going to step your game up and it's going to provide um, everything that you need to get started with streaming, you know, your YouTube channel. Uh, step in your zoom meeting audio quality up all of these things will be will be checked by this microphone here now this microphone does have an audio interface so you can plug in headphones and get direct feedback and, and raw content of what you're sounding like um, but it does not have gain control raw built into the microphone now that's my biggest con here and even the raw level of audio that you get when you just plug this thing in you're gonna notice this microphone is quiet you know, I'm sure that that's an issue that can be addressed um, in later versions of this, but with this Sudatac um, ST900, um, when you plug it in by default, it's very quiet. So you're going to have to bump your gain up in the software, and that's why I'm listing this as the biggest turnoff on this mic, um, because it doesn't have, like the Blue Yeti has, a volume dial. So those are really only the differences in my opinion, right? It does have the much better mute button and um, LED light as well. And that is kind of a big thing if you're trying to do like streaming specifically and you want the mic um, closest for the best quality. But the lack of the game controller and also, you know, the, the more functionality that um, the blue can provide, um, those are ultimately going to be the deciding factors because uh, in my opinion, just the raw sound quality when you're using this microphone properly um, they're very comparable, right, if you can get past the um, the gain situation. But as you can see right now, you can fix that in post or when you're going live with OBS, um, either which way. So let's just get into some um, raw tests. We're going to have just, you know, maybe 30 seconds of typing, and we're going to do 30 seconds of direct comparison between the two. So let's see what this thing sounds like, and we'll wrap it up. You can decide for yourself. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and test both these microphones to their potential, both at absolutely raw, no filters applied at all, and I'm doing nothing to them at post.
And this is really going to be the last test right now. Me just talking directly into the microphone here again for you guys at um, no filters or anything applied. Uh, we'll see what this sounds like in post. I'm not exactly sure right now. I do have a general idea. Um, but, you know, you can tell for yourself which mic you think is better. And if you think this PseudoTac ST900 is worth it. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. And I will see you in the next one.